I am really excited today to show you how I have created this Summer Sands Tunisian tank top because I've used a what I'm calling a Tunisian eyelet stitch in combination with Tunisian simple stitch to create a simple but elegant pattern repeat. And I'm going to show you how I created that eyelet stitch. It's actually comprised of a, a Tunisian extended stitch and a Tunisian simple stitch three together with a chain one and then another Tunisian extended stitch. So it's those three things that work together to create um, this sort of feathered effect here and then the eyelet on either side. So I have picked up all my stitches and done a return pass and now I'm going to start my pattern. To do that I'm going to Tunisian extended stitch all the way across. This is really just a Tunisian simple stitch, inserting my hook, yarn over, pull through, but then adding a chain one on the top and this just gives it a bit of height. So I'll do that again through the vertical bar, you pull up a loop chain one. And that's my Tunisian extended stitch and I will do that all the way across. Now I've come to the end and you must remember that at the end of a row in Tunisian you go through the two loops at the end. So we're sort of at the front and the back. So turn your work sometimes to make sure you've got both. Yarn over and pull through and then I'm going to Tunisian extend stitch that one as well. So all my stitches are the right height. So that bit there is the extra extension. And then it's a standard return back. So yarn over, go th pull through one, and then yarn over and pull through two, all the way across. Okay. So this pattern will begin by doing one Tunisian simple stitch. So you always disregard that first vertical bar or the bar in which the loop is attached. So we're skipping that one. I'm going to do one Tunisian simple stitch. Now I'm ready to begin my pattern. And when I'm Tunisian three stitches together, I'm going to end up dropping or losing the stitch on either end, this stitch and this stitch. Can't do that or my count will be off. So what we have to do is add a stitch and we're going to add one at the beginning and add one at the end and that will balance out the two that we're losing. So to do that, I'm going to create a Tunisian extended stitch just like we did before in the row before but this time I'm going to do it in the space in between the two vertical bars. So like a Tunisian full stitch, if you're familiar with that, I'm going to insert my hook between these two vertical bars, yarn over, draw through, pick up a loop, and then chain one for that extension. Now I've added a stitch. Now I can Tunisian simple stitch three together, one, two, three, yarn over, pull through all three, and to finish that together, or to really join them, I'm going to chain one. So now I have two stitches, but I had three, so I need to add another stitch. And I'll do that again by adding a Tunisian extended stitch, but in that space between the vertical bars. So insert my hook and I'm going to make a Tunisian extended stitch against that horizontal bar and chain one. And that's the stitch completed. So I start again. I mustn't forget, I do my Tunisian extended stitch in that space, three together, one, two, three, yarn over, pull through three, chain one. I'm still one stitch down, so adding it in that space in between. Yarn over, pull through, and chain one. And now I've completed two. One, two, and my eyelets are beginning to take shape. So 
So at the very end of this row, it's going to be just a simple stitch. And then I'm at the end, so I want to make sure I go through both loops at the end of the row. Yarn over and pull through. And then it's a standard return. Chain, go, go through one, yarn over and pull through two. And now it's pull through two all the way to the end of the row. So you can see the eyelets that have been formed. The second row is going to be the same as the previous row. Going to Tunisian simple stitch in that first vertical bar, or people say it's the first, it's actually the second, but if you're skipping then, this, this vertical bar at the edge, that becomes your first one. So one simple stitch. And then I need to make up for the stitches I'm going to lose. So I'm going to add my Tunisian extended stitch in that space. Three together. One, two, three. Yarn over and pull through. Chain one and add a stitch. Add a stitch. A simple stitch three together. And add a stitch. Add a stitch. Simple stitch three together. One, two, three. Yarn over, chain one. And finish off with an extended stitch. And you can check they should be lined up. So you can see they're lined up and the eyelets are lined up. And that's all there is to it. So I'm going to finish this row. So you should have the same number of stitches as you started. And it's very simple then if you wanted to create a row of Tunisian simple stitch in between. And you can see how that's going to appear. Summer Sands Tunisian tank top, which uses this technique. And thank you very much.